I had already done my research on the abdominoplasty that was scheduled. I'm a registered nurse, and I knew what the possible side effects were. Um, it's a rather um, lengthy surgery, and there are several side effects that could happen. But I had so much faith in the ability of Dr. O'Daniels after seeing how he took care of my wife, I really had no qualms about having the surgery done by Dr. O'Daniels. They called me back into surgery and they set me up for the operation. And his surg surgical nurse would come back to uh, where I was at and would talk to me and they checked on me to make sure I was, I was okay and that I was good for the surgery and I never had the first misgiving. Um, I knew what was going to be uh, entailed with the uh, recovery and all, but um, when Dr. O'Daniels came back to the uh, area, pre-surgery area, and he talked to me, he put me completely at ease, which I was already really ready for the surgery. He'd already given me instructions. He told me what, what was going to happen, how it was going to happen, when it was going to happen. And I don't think I could have been put at more ease between Dr. O'Daniels, his surgical nurse, and the nurses that were back there in the area at the time. Um, they put some Versed in, in my IV at the time, and I went to sleep. And I, when I woke up, I felt literally no pain. And I couldn't have asked for a better experience during that day of surgery. When I got when I did wake up, um, I was bandaged. And I had I was in a, uh, a a wrap bandage, and I was in this uh, truss type situation because there was a, a, a liposuction of the breast area for gynecomastia, also along with my abdominal plasty, and I looked like a mummy almost. So. Uh, I was really excited. I wanted to see the results so bad, but I couldn't. And I had to keep all that stuff on uh, for a couple of days before I could take it on, any of it off. Um, so my wife drove me home, and that was my day of surgery.